Want to know about Windows Server 2016 Core? No problem, just see the video step by step. Subscribe our channel, ask Joy Banerjee, that's it. Thank you. Hi everyone, this is Joy Banerjee from AIKID Support. In this video, we will see how to set up a Windows Server 2016 Core Server. Okay, so we just want to install Core and want to see how it looks. Okay, so for that, I have already created a virtual machine and now I will power it on. I've already mounted the ISO file in this, so it would the installation of what you know that it's, it's probably a very straightforward, but we want to see that after installation how the core server looks, how we need to log in, and uh, how the things are. Okay, so the first thing is you can see I'm getting an error here. Let me try to fix that. Okay, so I've, what I've done is I've changed the ISO file and booted it, and let's see if this works for us or not. Yes, you can see now it is booted. Okay. So now we'll do the installation of server core of Windows Server 2016. So this is a straightforward screen on which we need to work upon. Like you need to select the language, you need to select the uh, time and currency format, and uh, you can also see the change the keyboard if you want from the drop down okay so if you select there are several options so i just want to go with the default setting here so i would click next so in case you want to repair your system there is a repairing tool on which you can use later but this is a fresh machine so we will hit this install now button okay so now you can see there are a few options which from which we can choose like the first option is windows server 2016 standard evolution uh, then standard evolution with desktop experience if you can drag this out and you can see uh, what it's what exactly it is written so desktop experience it doesn't say that like it's it has really a enhanced feature along with it has gui right so if you want to install without gui then you need to select either this version or this version so all of the versions which you can see they are in 64 bit architecture that means you require a 64 bit cpu and as well as a whole hardware which can really support this particular operating system to install okay so i will be selecting this windows server 2016 standard evolution which is a core server and doesn't have the gui so i just want to select this and click next so i need to accept this particular license term i will click next and as it is a fresh install i need to go to the custom setting here and now you can see it is having a disk which is unallocated okay so what i need to do is i need to click new and give the value i want to use a complete um, complete disk for installing this windows server 2016 core server so i will click apply and it is going to create some more uh, partitions which are required i will click okay so now you can see it will be automatically dividing the partition with system reserved and another partition which is going to hold the OS okay so you can toggle it between but if we select this you can see it says the windows cannot install on this particular partition if we select this now there is no warning okay so now we can click next as well so you, if we go there you can see uh, the next is grayed out because we cannot really um, do it and if we hit this it will going to give you a message that this is the size and this is not going to install the OS so if we select this there is no warning now I will click next so this process will take take some time so what I do is I will try to pause this particular video once the installation is done and after the reboot I will show you how it looks okay friends so after the reboot now you can see I can see this particular screen the installation is done so what I need to do is I need to press Control alt Dell okay so as it is a virtual machine I will try to do it from here so now it can say that uh, the user must be uh, change the pa password before we sign in its administrator you can see the username here so i will hit an, hit uh, okay and now i need to give a new name here not name password okay now you can see password did not match i will give a try again Password did not match. Why it is happening like this? Okay. 
So now you can see the password is changed and password is changed. I can hit OK. Applying settings. Now we are logged into this uh, console. So now you can see it, it, the console UI of a core server is different than we have in Windows Server 2008. Okay. So ideally you can see it opens like a GUI form. And if I do a log off here, So now you can see, I mean, this is this is what the core is. So ideally, core should be a CLI, right? And in Windows Server 2016, they have really worked upon that, and now it's pure a CLI. Now you can see, uh, you can uh, escape to uh, switch user uh, in sign-in method, right? If I do escape, now you can switch uh, sign-in option uh, for administrator and password. So uh, right. I can put the password here. I need to recall what I have put there. And now you can see I am I'm logged into this core box. Okay. So once I logged into this core box, what I can do is uh, I can write like host name. This is the host name by default it's able to get. I can start PowerShell. Just want to check the PowerShell is there. So now you can see uh, we have a PowerShell which we can launch here. That is good. And we have also launched it with administrator privilege. That is also good. Okay. And to do the initial configuration in Windows Server 2016 core, what you need to do is you can open sconfig. Okay. So sconfig is a utility from where you can manage and change a few things like uh, initial configuration, which you can do very easily. Let's say I want to change the computer name. So what I will do is I will select number two. I will hit uh, it. I will give a new name, which should be like um, my. This is my Win 2016 core core. So this should be my core server. So you can see it says I can press Y, and now the application correctly uh, unable to start correctly. Okay. So what it will do is it will try to reboot. Okay. Once we change the name, we need to reboot the system. So it will try to reboot the server. Okay, now again we have in the login screen we need to do control del here. And now I will give the password. Okay, so if I do host name, now you can see it is uh, win, win 2016 half in core. So now you know how we can install Windows Server 2016 core and now in the next videos I will let you know how to use and how to work with Windows core. So I've just given you a glance that how we can install, how we can set up the initial configuration. It, it's not yet I've shown the complete thing but still I have shown that how you can do, how you can run it, uh, like how you can run the sconfig to change the computer name. So we will see the other parts as well do the initial configuration in the next video. So hope this particular video is informative. Do like my video, do subscribe to our channel to check out and also you can hit the bell button along with the subscribe because when I shoot a new video that will be pop up and you will be the you will very easily really um, go into that particular video. So let me know if you have any question, just write out in the comments. I will happy to answer them. And this is Joy Banerjee signing off from AI Carry Support.